Greetings and welcome back. Ladies, gentlemen, dwarves, elves, wizards, hobbits, and possibly even balrogs. Today we have a couple of gorgeous looking integrals here, one having a cosine log x and the other having a sine log x term. And I actually stumbled upon these two integrals while evaluating a different integral. A generalized integral, that is, the integral function i of alpha, defined as the integral from 0 to infinity, of x to the alpha times 1 plus x squared divided by 1 plus x to the fourth power dx. Now, how exactly did this integral lead to these two integrals? Well, recall from Euler's beautiful formula that we have e to the i theta equal to cosine theta plus i times the sine of theta. So if I let theta here equal to log x, in that case, we have e to the i times log x equal to x to the i, of course. And this gives us cosine log x plus i times the sine of log x. Okay, cool. So that means all I have to do is figure out exactly what this integral function spits out in terms of the alpha parameter and plug in alpha equal to i for the target case. And for that, I'd first like to expand the integrand. So we have i of alpha equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the alpha divided by 1 plus x to the fourth power dx plus the integral from 0 to infinity of x plus x to the alpha plus 2, that is, divided by 1 plus x to the fourth power dx. Now, I've derived a result in a previous video, link in the description below, for the general case of the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the s minus 1 divided by 1 plus x to the k dx. This thing sorts out to pi by k times the cosecant of pi s by k. And for our integrals, we have k here equal to 4. So that means i of alpha sorts out to pi by 4, which can be factored out. And we're left with the cosecant of pi by 4 times alpha plus 1, plus the cosecant of pi by 4 times alpha plus 3. Okay, cool. So everything seems to be in order. So we're left with pi by 4 times the cosecant of pi alpha by 4 plus pi by 4 plus the cosecant of pi alpha by 4 again plus 3 pi by 4. And our target case, recall, was the case for alpha equal to the imaginary at i. So plugging in that case, we have i of i equal to pi by 4 times the cosecant of i pi by 4 plus pi by 4 plus the cosecant, terribly sorry about that, cosecant of i pi by 4 plus 3 pi by 4. And now all that's left is to figure out what these cosecant terms evaluate out to and then separate the real and imaginary parts. We know the cosecant function is just the reciprocal of the sine function, so we'll expand the sine of i pi by 4 plus pi by 4. Terribly sorry about that. We know that this thing equals cosine i pi by 4 times sine pi by 4 plus sine of i pi by 4 times cosine pi by 4. Now cosine and sine pi by 4 both equal 1 by root 2. So that means we have 1 by root 2 factored out, and we're left with cosine i pi by 4. Cosine of i times z equals the hyperbolic cosine, or cosh z, and sine of i times z equals i times hyperbolic sine, or sinh z. So that means we have cosh z plus i times sinh z. And using this result, we have the cosecant of i pi by 4 plus pi by 4 equal to root 2 divided by cosh z plus i times sinh z. Now, we need to separate this thing into real and imaginary parts, and for that we need to expand using the conjugate. So we have root 2 times the conjugate of the denominator. That's going to be cosh z minus i times sinh z. And downstairs, 
we have a complex number multiplied by its complex conjugate, which is, of course, the squared modulus of that complex number. So that means we have cosh square z, terribly sorry about that. Why am I writing in terms of z? I forgot I had pi by 4s here. What is wrong with me? I am just very tired today. Pi by 4, pi by 4, terribly sorry about that as well. Pi by 4, pi by 4, and surprise, surprise, we got pi by 4. I'm going to have to work it out in the numerator as well. I probably could have just edited this out or recorded a different clip, but like I said, I'm quite tired, so why not? Here we go. That's the cosine of i pi by 4 plus pi by 4, and using this result, we can actually work out the result for the other cosecant function. We have cosecant of i pi by 4 plus 3 pi by 4, and 3 pi by 4 is in the second quadrant, so the sine term would be positive, and the cosine term would be negative. So that would give us root 2 times cosh of pi by 4 plus i times cinch of pi by 4, and the denominator is, of course, the same. We have cosh square pi by 4 plus cinch square pi by 4. And we need the sum of these two cosecant functions to give us the result of our integral. So what we have is i of i equal to pi by 4 times root 2 factored out. And we see that the cinch terms cancel out and we're left with two hyperbolic cosine terms. So we have 2 times this thing, some cancellation. So we have pi by 2 times root 2 times the cosh of pi by 4 divided by cosh square pi by 4 plus cinch square pi by 4. And of course we can compress this result just a bit more, recalling another double angle formula, this time from hyperbolic trigonometry. We know that the cosh square z plus cinch square z equals cosh of 2 times z. So that means our denominator is just cosh pi by 2. And separating into real and imaginary parts, we have the real part of i of i, which is the integral from 0 to infinity, of cosine log x times 1 plus x squared divided by 1 plus x to the fourth power, dx equal to, let's see, we have pi times root 2 by 2, cosine, cosh, cosine, what the hell was that, hyperbolic cosine or cosh? It's not some kind of new Gen Z term in math, I hope you guys do not invent that. So we have cosh or hyperbolic cosine of pi by 4, divided by cosh pi by 2, and the imaginary part, that is the integral from 0 to infinity, of sine log x times 1 plus x squared divided by 1 plus x to the fourth power dx actually just equals 0, which is pretty interesting. I quite enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed the video as well. Be sure to like and subscribe. I hope you learned something from the video. Sorry for the minor errors I made. Do drop me a follow on Instagram as well, and in case you like the effort I'm putting out, consider supporting me on Patreon. All links in the description box. Thank you. See you next time.